This is Twit. And now it's time for Smoke and Solder. And you know, the Raspberry Pi Foundation just released the brand new Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. And I got one uh, a week or so back and played with it a little bit this week. So let's take a look. This week on Smoke and Solder, we're going to talk a little bit about a new model of Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi 2 Model B is a second generation Raspberry Pi and it's replacing the original Raspberry Pi 1 Model B and B+. It still retails for just $35. Compared to the Raspberry Pi 1, it's got a 900 megahertz quad-core ARM version 7 Cortex-A7 CPU and 1 gigabyte of RAM. The upgrade in the CPU means that you'll see approximately two times performance increase just because of the processor upgrade alone. For software that can take advantage of multi-core processors, you'll get an average of four times the performance, but for really multi-thread friendly code, up to 7.5 times increase in speed. And that's not even considering the one gig of RAM, which will greatly improve many programs and your web browser experience. Like the Pi 1 Model B Plus, you also get four USB ports, 40 GPIO pins, full HDMI port, an Ethernet port, combined 3.5 millimeter audio jack and composite video, a camera interface, a display interface, a micro SD card slot, video core 4 3D graphics core, and it's physically the same size and the same connectors as the Model B Plus, so it should work with most existing daughter boards and cases. Because it has an ARM version 7 processor, it can run a full range of ARM GNU Linux distributions, including Snappy Ubuntu Core. And Microsoft has announced there'll be a version of Windows 10 for free to support Internet of Things applications. The Raspberry Pi 2 has an identical form factor to the previous Pi 1 Model B Plus and is said to have complete compatibility with Raspberry Pi 1. Although the documentation that comes with the Raspberry Pi Model 2B says a minimum of 600 milliamps is required from the 5 volt supply, a 1.2 amp power supply from a reputable retailer should be enough to power your Raspberry Pi. Typically the Model B uses between 700 milliamps and 1 amp depending on what peripherals are connected. The micro SD card should be a name brand device with at least four gigs of storage rated for class C or faster. The faster micro SD cards will provide faster operation depending on what you're doing with your Pi. The HDMI connector is compatible with most HDMI monitors and television sets and an HDMI to DV adapter will work with many DVI monitors. Most any standard USB keyboard and mouse will work but you need to be aware that some draw more current than the others and may require a powered USB hub for proper operation. The Ethernet port allows networking your Pi to the outside world with a standard Cat5 cable. At first glance, you may think that composite video is no longer available. However, it's been moved to the mini plug that also supplies the audio output. And be aware that the new processor on the Pi 2 means that you'll need to upgrade your existing micro SD card or create a new micro SD card with your operating system. You can't plug an older SD card from a Pi 1 into a Pi 2 unless you upgrade it first using sudo space apt-get space upgrade on your Pi 1 first. Also, any pre-compiled software should work with the new Pi 2, but it won't run at full speed, so you should recompile your software for the new processor. Now, I wanted some kind of rough benchmark just to see how much faster the Pi 2 might be. So, on the left-hand side is the Pi 2. You can see the four raspberries at the top of the screen indicate the quad core. On the right-hand side of the screen is my original Raspberry Pi Model 1B. I, I never had a B+. So, left-hand side, 24 seconds on the Raspberry Pi 2B. I counted from the time that I started until I saw the CPU gauge reach zero. We're still going over on the original B. Now while we're waiting on it to complete, let's just take a look at loading a web page here. I decided just to see how quick that would load. And I've got to say, I believe it's considerably faster than previous versions of the Raspberry Pi. 
As you can see, the Ham Nation website loaded up pretty quickly here. So overall, I think we're going to see a much better experience out of the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. Now over to the original B. Looks like it's going to be 1 minute and 15 <laughs> seconds just to get completely booted up. Is the Raspberry Pi 2B worth the upgrade? I'd have to say definitely. So there you go. I'm, I'm seeing much better performance with it. I have not done a lot yet. I've only installed the Raspberry operating system and played with some of the apps that are on there, but uh, really encouraging. I, I would say, yeah, now it's ready for prime time. And that Windows 10 is not going to be, you know, like Windows 10 Professional. It's going to be a special version of Windows 10 for Internet of Things applications, which the Raspberry Pi uh, would fit nicely into that category.